हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ मॉलिक्यूलर बेसिस ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस एंड टॉपिक कवर्ड इज ग्रिफेट ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट ग्रिफेट डिड एन एक्सपेरिमेंट नोन एज ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट ही यूज माइस एंड स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस निमोनिया विच इज अ बैक्टीरिया विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर निमोनिया so griffith he used mice and streptococcus pneumoniae a bacteria responsible for pneumonia in his experiment this bacteria streptococcus pneumoniae has two strains s strain and r strain s strain is smooth strain because it has a polysaccharide mucus coat as you can see in the diagram here we have we have shown s strain which is a smooth strain because it has polysaccharide mucus coat on it on the other hand r strain it does not has a polysaccharide mucus coat so it is rough in shape as you can see in the diagram this is rough r strain S strain is a virulent strain that means it causes pneumonia virulent means disease causing so S strain is virulent means it causes pneumonia whereas R strain is non virulent because it does not cause pneumonia now let us look at the experiment performed by griffith griffith introduced s strain into the mice so griffith introduced s strain into the mice and as a result mice died because we know s strain is virulent so if we will inject virulent bacteria of s strain into the mice the mice will die of pneumonia in the second part griffith introduced r strain into the mice as a result mice lived why did mice lived because we know r strain is non virulent it never causes pneumonia so mice lived thirdly he took heat killed s strain and then injected it into the mice now the mice lived because although the s strain is virulent but because it is heat killed its virulence was lost so mice lived and lastly he introduced heat killed s strain plus live r strain into the mice as a result mice died although the mice should have lived now why i am saying that mice should have lived because the s strain is heat killed so it has turned non virulent and r strain is also non virulent we already know so mice should have lived but mice died now the conclusion drawn by griffith was that something from this s strain has been transferred into r strain something from s strain is been transferred to r strain which made r strain to synthesize polysaccharide coat and become virulent so something has been transferred from heat killed s strain to r strain as a result of which r strain has also become virulent and mice died now this something was given the name of transforming principle by griffith so he concluded that transforming principle has been transferred from s strain heat killed into live r strain which caused the bacteria sorry the mice to die so but griffith could not tell the biochemical nature of transforming principle it means he could not tell whether the transforming principle was rna dna or protein now let us look at biochemical nature or characteristic of transforming principle means let us look whether the transforming principle was dna rna or protein 
Now, this biochemical nature of transforming principle was confirmed by three scientists. They are Avery, McLeod and McCarty. So, these three scientists determined the chemical nature of biochemical principle. Now, what they did was that from heat killed S strain, they isolated DNA, RNA and protein. So, from heat killed S strain, they isolated DNA, RNA and protein. Now, from this heat killed S strain plus live R strain was introduced into mice, but now along with these two strains, that means heat killed S plus live R, enzymes were also introduced. In first step, they introduced RNA's enzyme and protease enzyme along with the heat killed S and live R strain. Now, this was injected into mice. Now, mice died as usual. RNAs digested RNA and protease digested protein, but nothing happened and mice died. In the second step, they took DNA's enzyme along with heat killed S strain and live R strain, and now mice lived. Instead of being dying, the mice lived. That means DNA is transferred from heat killed S strain to R strain. Why? Because when DNA was introduced, the DNA's enzyme digested the DNA. Now, the transfer of this DNA was stopped from S strain to R strain. And as a result, this R strain now could not become virulent and mice lived because R strain could not turn virulent because transfer of this DNA was stopped by enzyme DNAs. So, from this experiment, it was concluded that DNA is the genetic material that is transferred from heat killed S strain into R strain, causing the transformation of R strain into S strain. So, if you have gained something from this video, please subscribe now to my channel Ramji Chopra, comment, like and share.